Now, a new research out today has found the multi-generational makeup of Australia's workforce is causing headaches for employers. Longer lifespans mean the workforce is now made up of four generations and employers are struggling to balance the needs of the various age groups. Now, the study was conducted by HR services provider Chandler McLeod. Chief Executive Cameron Judson is with us now. Cameron Judson, good morning. Good morning, Virginia. I think we'll kick off with this little observation on Twitter that's just come in even before you've started speaking. Kim yes. says, I don't care how old you are, just do your job and don't be an idiot. <laughs> well, that's an interesting observation. I think what employees are looking for is engagement from leaders in the workplace about what's important to them, what's important to me in my career, what's important in terms of the purpose and identity I get from work. Now that's always been the case of course and people always yes. want to feel like they have a purpose at work so what do you believe has changed? I think what's changed is that leaders tend to lead the way they've been led and now with four generations in the workplace it's really key to understand how those generations are different and how their needs are different and talk to them as individuals. How, how uh, isn't that generational divide being managed as effectively as it should in, in some workplaces? I think largely employers look at the generational diversity and challenge, be that large businesses or small businesses, and they're applying a one-size-fits-all approach, thinking that employees all value the same things. I think the insight we generate for the, for the white paper is you need to know each of those audiences and how their needs are distinct and different. Give us examples of what you mean when you say one-size-fits-all approach and not looking at distinct needs. What are those distinct needs as you've seen them? Well, millennials, by way of example, want us to focus on them as individuals and talk to them about their individual career plans. Uh, maybe baby boomers have a greater focus on, listen, my, my skills need to be relevant for today's workforce. Mm -hmm. I need coaching, I need feedback on what are the new skills I might be developing to be relevant in today's workforce. And Gen Xers, what do they need? Gen Xers are, are, are an interesting uh, challenge. they just put their head down and get on with it. Yeah, because their experiences, they've been led by people that uh, are, are baby boomers that tend to focus on outcomes and, and performance. And what about Gen Ys, who, uh, as we all know, cop a fair bit of stick, some of it unwarranted? Yes, I think Gen Ys are probably the, the audience that, and the millennials are largely understood. So uh, our white paper calls out that we need to focus more on how their needs are distinct and different. Uh, rather than applying a one, one size fits all to that audience. I love that you call it a white paper in the hope that it'll become government policy. Well, thank you for that. Oh, yeah, it's it's you, ambitious. You never know. Yeah, yeah, you never know. <laughs> Do you think Gen Y cops a, 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 cops a, a bit of unwanted uh, stick and you know get, get a bad rap? Well, I think their experience in the workplace is they're largely working for baby boomers as key leaders of businesses, um, and baby boomers could do a better job seeking to understand how Generation Y want to perform in workforce and what their needs are mm. and aspirations. When it comes to I interesting contemporary issues such mm. as social media, its use, its deployment, th there are very key differences between the generations there. Yes, there are. I mean, social media is a great communication channel to engage a workforce with communication. Uh, nothing in business, though, in my opinion, beats engaging face-to-face -face communication and using social media as a medium rather than a solution for communication yeah. engagement. So those b employers, those bosses who are not engaging directly and specifically with their different generation workforce, are they the ones who end up losing them? They do. Uh, th that, that talent votes with their feet and moves on to new opportunities. All right. Well, good to talk to you about this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Cameron. Cameron. Now, lots for you to chew over there. If you'd like to get involved in what we're discussing on News Breakfast this morning, send emails to breakfast at your.abc.net.au. You can join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter about just how excellent Generation X is. Excellent. We are an excellent generation. <laughs> Underrated generation. Ah, oh, so hard Completely working. Completely so. Never complain. Just get on with Let's it. Let's just get on with it now, shall we? Shall and we? tell you that Queensland's unseen.